Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon, man. Right? And today's video, I'm finally gonna be showing you guys how to make the D boy overlay. Man, before I even show you the overlay, I'm gonna just put y'all on real quick. So, this is the dude right here that um, made the actual D boy overlay, I'm pretty sure. And if you wanna buy any overlays that look like that, just hit him up. For him. I gotta pay homage to him because he basically put everybody on um, who won these overlays or whatever. So, he ain't put nobody on, but he basically started a wave of them. So, yeah, I'm gonna just. Go back to OBS, feel me? I'm going to show y'all the actual OLED. See, you know how to do better than mine, but this is like going to be a video of basic understanding of how to do it since you guys ask for it so much. So, I'm going to just let this play out, and I'm going to get straight into the video because I ain't really got no time to waste with this right here. So, yeah. Alright, so since you've seen the overlay play, if you start to fade it, and I'm not gonna do the fade, but I just made the level like my first try doing it or whatever. Well, I ain't talking like three try, but let's get straight into it. But first thing you wanna do is go to Photoshop, hit File, then you wanna hit New, and do 1280 by 720. Once you do that, you can go to the horizontal text tool, click with it, and then just put some text. For the text, I'ma just put um freaking yeah, I'm gonna put the dude name of the overlay because y'all need to go hit him up the person. All right, so once you uh, do the text, whatever, basically all you need to do is just put the text on there, type it in. The fun I got is now nah, see uh, how you said. If you need to just DM me on Twitter or hit me in the comment section, I'll give it to you. So now you can go to file, and then you can go to export, export as, and then you can just name whatever. See, I already tried to do it from, I messed up, man. I already had to restart the record. But just name the file, and this form I had to slow down a little bit because I'm going to have to explain it good. So. Um, I opened up Adobe After Effects. You just go new composition, copy all these settings. And I'm gonna be going in five second intervals, so it's like gonna be five seconds. Next overlay start, five seconds. Next overlay start. But now you want to go to File, Import. You want to click on the overlay. Once you import it, just drag it down here. And then you want to click and then Layer, Auto Trace. Then OK. So now what we're gonna do is go over to Saber. Once we go to Saber. Just want to bring it down here and uh, go to render settings transparent customized core layer mask and then art reactor now for most people that um already watched my other overlay tutorials some of this stuff here it just be easy to you but for the first time watchers if you have any trouble just watch my other ones all i just did was change it to electric and now what we're going to do is go to uh start offset and you can turn this all the way down and yeah you can click on your keyboard then go over to five seconds and then you can do it like that well yeah just do what i just did so if you want to come in from the top this is what you would do and if you want to come in a different way just do in offset color i'm gonna be choose for this probably gonna be red because that's like my main color but um yeah now you want to do control d and then that's going to duplicate the layer and basically you just want to drag that part when you duplicate it to right here and then put it at 10 seconds because we're doing like five second intervals or whatever. Feel me? So do something like that and put that right now. So it's going to come in like this. And then, now we got to do the next one. Now the one on top. And another thing I didn't tell you guys make sure your glow bias all the way low. That's how I do my. I put my glow bias low so it can look like that. So I come in. Then we got the one on top. The one on top, I always change my color for. And I'm probably going to make the color. Um, this color right here so it'll come in and I'm gonna show you guys how to make the other one come in too so you want to Keep your end offset at 100 and your start offset at 100. Click the clock on the end offset 
and then hit you on your keyboard i hit it two times and then you can just go to 10 seconds and make sure it's actually on the thing and then you just want to turn it in offset all the way down so basically what that's going to do is make it look like this so it's going to come in and then when you get right here and it hits it that's going to start coming in also so if that helps you i'm going to show you guys what to do next now i might not even do the full 20 seconds because Man, I got school in 15 minutes or something like that. So I'm going to just hit Control D on this layer. And I'm going to show you guys how to do the next one. And I might just let you guys do it on your own after this one. Because, you feel me? I'm trying to get this video out. So, uh, yeah. I need to do it like this. And then when this hit, basically what we're going to do is um keep that right there. And now i'm gonna um put this because we're gonna keep this on electric we basically doing the same thing you just want to keep both of these at 100 hit control you on this and and then go at the end and then turn zero hit control you or whatever so it can do the whole thing again so like the animation still gonna be there without you really have to do anything it just yeah and you want to drag this out like that Keep this on top. Now, I'm going to change the color of this. I can just change the top color to pink. Make sure you're on the right layer, too. Change this to pink. And then, basically, um, you have that boom that's coming in. Then, you have the color pink coming in. And it's really simple. Now, the actual, like the actual, actually make it go out and sync like it's actually looping i don't know how to do that yet but i'm just making this tour to show you guys the base so i'm gonna actually do it one more time so it's not really gonna take that long let me just hit control d on that layer and if you guys need any help on setting keyframes and stuff i can put you on some videos that'll tell you everything you need to know so yeah i'm gonna just keep it like that and then basically yeah All right, so we gonna keep this one going like this. And since we already got the animation set up, we can just change the color like so. Cause it's, that, it's not really that hard when you start doing it. So I can just change this to dark blue or something. So it'll be, the animations will keep coming like this. Boom, come like that. Then we get down here, boom, it'll come like that. And, I mean, bro, it's not that hard to make this overlay as I thought. Like, most of the people came from the tutorial. If you need this certain tutorial, just let me know because I'm going to put it in the comment section anyway. But, yeah, it's really not hard, bro. So, just do this, and that's basically how you actually do it. Now, one thing I did do to switch it up myself, I added a fade at the end. I don't know if that's good or bad, but... If you want to do that, don't do it on the layer at the end. I just did it on these layers. And make sure it actually doesn't fade in. I don't want that. So if you do add the fade to certain layers, just make sure it does not fade in. Take that off. But never put the fade on the layer at the end. Don't do that. I just did it so when I stop it right here, it can look like it's normal when it's stopping. You can't really tell that it went out. So, yeah, man. If you enjoyed the tutorial... Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. I'm going to show you guys how to export it. Just add to a media encoder like so. Boom. Uh, go to your downloads. Nah, you can just put it whatever. I'm going to just put it here. I'm going to say uh, GG. And so you can just play it and render it. If you guys enjoyed the video, man, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It was that simple. Peace out.